Hey everybody, what's up? Jamie here, continuing where we left off on the Planetary Pursuit. This should be the final Planetary Pursuit video if everything goes right. Currently, we are at 471. I have one puzzle cache that I have solved and I'm about to go grab, and then I have a handful of travel bugs that I'm gonna go drop off at a travel bug hotel that there's a lock on, so I'm hoping that they stay safe. And those travel bugs that I'm dropping off three of them are geo coins my own personal geo coins and uh i know i know a lot of you guys warned me don't do it <laughs> i'm i'm doing it so let's go find this puzzle cache and get 15 points got rory with me today to do the honors to help me round out this planetary pursuit and uh he can deal with this uh awesome lpc ever so quiet at least this one's kind of hidden in some trees there's like, there's this tree in the way. Hey, I see it in there, I see it in there. Look at that, look at that beaut right there. That's a puzzle solved right there, there's 15 points. That's a, that's a lot of bag. That's a, that's a lot of bag for just the tiniest of logs. All right guys, we're at the official geocache monitoring station. It's got a lock. This is a travel bug hotel. I've been here once before. This is where I feel comfortable dropping off some geo coins because, I, like I said, I don't think somebody's going to muggle it. They, they can't muggle it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that a, a, a newer geocacher won't take it, not understanding what it is. Alright, so we got the trackables travel bug bag here in this hotel. Check this out. There's curler beads in there. Normally that would be perfect swag for me to take, but I got a ton of curler beads. Alright, here is one travel bug being placed. Another travel bug with a little whistle. And then here we go, guys. Not one, not two, but three. Three geo coins. I don't understand the big deal. I don't understand why you guys are like, don't put geo coins in there. It's like, they're never going to come back to you. They're just going to get stolen. What's the big deal? It's not like I have any kind of sentimental attachment to these. Oh, wait. Alright, in all seriousness, this is why I'm releasing these specific ones. So this one I actually have a double of. Uh, this one I also have a double of, and this was bought specifically for me to put out in the wild. So I need to do that. I need to hold on. Uh, need to hold true to what they bought this for me for. And this one, eh, I really have no emotional attachment to this one. It was just given to me in a swag bag, and uh, why not? Let's just see where it travels. And to try to help keep them from getting stolen, is I put this little message on the back of all of them. Maybe it'll help, maybe it won't, uh, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and drop these off and see where we end up on the planetary pursuit points. All right, guys, time to update the points. Hopefully, I did the math right. <laughs> what was that one puzzle cache and then dropped off? How many travel bugs? I dropped off five? Five, I think. All right, updating the score, spinning, spinning, spinning. Yeah, boy, 506 points. There we go. We have uh, officially landed on Pluto and then got the bonus, what is it, Space Explorer um, uh, souvenir. Man, uh, okay, so I'll give you my final thoughts on this and it's time to celebrate, Rory. We're Space Explorers. Well, mostly I was a Space Explorer, but you tagged along on that last one. I appreciate it. Thank you. It was awesome. You made it to Pluto. Was Pluto pretty cool? How did I, how did I skip all the other stuff and just land on Pluto? You're That's crazy. just a good astronaut. You didn't need to land on each one along the way. Okay. That's, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys. Uh, let's go celebrate. <laughs>
so final thoughts on Planetary Pursuit. Uh, first off, I enjoyed that it was space themed. I enjoy space, you know, the whole Stardust name. I do, I truly do enjoy space. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, just seeing space themed uh, souvenirs was very, very neat. It's probably one of the main drives why I tried to pursue and try to get them all because I, I just, I did, I wanted to collect them all. There's definitely been times where souvenirs popped up and I'm like, meh. If I don't get it, I don't get it. This was tough. It was definitely tough for me. I don't know about you guys. Uh, you know, how was it easy or was it hard for you guys? I know some of you did some geo art and that helped bust out a lot of points right away. Uh, geo art was not that close for me and um, I just couldn't do that. I know you could do power trails. I don't, I need to look up to see where some are. Again, I don't think there were any like super close that I could just do. Uh, so I did find it very, very hard. I had to solve some puzzles and try to drive. I basically had to drive. I had to drive to some areas where I don't have geocaches yet and just try to collect favorite points in that area. On the plus side is I did get a bunch of geocaching videos out of it, which I do slack from time to time. I mainly film about one geocaching video a week and try to edit that out, mixed in with like the other things I do on my channel. So I got more videos out of it. But again, they're, when you're watching them, they're still going to be pretty spaced out. It did burn me out. I, uh, you know, when I finally hit that 500, I was like, I can take a rest now. I do not have to get out there and try to push for these geocaches. So much respect for anybody that does any streaking. Oh my God. Like, I mean, my life during planetary pursuit revolved around geocaching like i don't know how you guys do it that just like geocaching was a priority first and foremost for anything i did during this time so i could try to accomplish and get these souvenirs before time ran out i will say overall i did i did enjoy it uh you know i like the idea of having something else to strive for while i'm geocaching i always keep thinking about that like what can geocaching do to implement additional stuff to make us continue to be interested you know like Pokemon Go now has like research where there's things you can do each day to unlock more stuff but I don't I don't really know what you could do in geocaching to unlock more stuff let me know your thoughts below on what you thought of the planetary pursuit so that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end this video guys so if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, you know obviously leave a comment below I've asked you some things on what you could answer in the comments below um also give me a thumbs up to let me know you like the video and until next time i will see you later bye